G'day. If you like growing flowers, I've got a real treat for you. You're going to be fascinated by what's going on down there. This is the flower farm of my good mates, Sam and Phil Dominello. For over 35 years, they've been pumping out millions of flowers each and every year from their four hectares of climate and light controlled greenhouses on New South Wales central coast. Liliums, freesias and lysianthus leave here by the truckload, headed for the Sydney flower markets. Now the boys are great thinkers and they're always looking for ways to improve plant health and production. So a few years ago, they revolutionised the way they feed their flowers. But this story's not so much about the flowers, it's about these blokes. So how did you get started with using worms on the farm? We were in a local pumpkin growing competition and we tried as hard as we could and we did a good job and we got to 186 kilos and were the local champions and the guys rocked up from Grafton and uncovered his pumpkin off the back of the trailer and they weighed it and it was 270 kilos. Whoa. I got chatting to him afterwards and um, asked him what his tricks were and he said he's using worm castings and uh, worm juice on there and I started using that and found good results. And what do you see in the actual plants in terms of physical appearance now? Well, we get longer stems and, you know, great colour in the buds, um, good foliage. It's just an all-round product that um, boosts them. It's a pretty impressive system you've got here. Yeah, thanks, Angus. It is a commercial scale worm farm. It's, it's set up for the worm juice. And you've got 14 beds in all. That's a lot of worms. Yeah, there is. There's thousands. Wow, look at those babies. What are you feeding them? Yeah, we use um, animal manures and lawn clippings and protein and a sprinkling of lime. And the lime uh, just basically keeps the pH nice and neutral, keeps it sweet in there? Yes, yeah, you don't want your beds getting sour, so a little sprinkling of lime once a month is important. And there's a watering system in there, so twice a day, beds get watered, goes down through, picks up the microbes and fertilisers. The worm juice gets down from the beds into this sump tank. This sump tank has a pump on it, so when the tank's full, it pumps it up around into this tank. Then from there, we've got our stock tank here, which has got a pump on it as well. So it just gets pumped up through the beds, through the sprinkling system, down through and back in again. So that period takes about a month to get the worm juice ready. So you keep recirculating it to build up the strength of the fertiliser? Yes, yeah, definitely. It takes a while. So how do you actually apply the worm juice to a crop like this? Uh, through our overhead sprinklers, we water it down onto them and they absorb it through their leaves and petals. And then whatever runs off helps the beneficial microbes in the soil as well. And we're finding that there's a lot of fertilisers in the soils, but the plants can't take it up. But what the worm juice does, it, the microbes in the worm juice actually make the fertilisers more readily available to the plants. So there are obvious benefits with the quality of the flowers, but what about your cost? Yeah, it's, um, that's a side benefit, because I didn't really do it for a cost-saving exercise. The worm juice was brought in so we could have better quality, but we're saving um, tens of thousands of dollars on our fertiliser and chemical costs now. Really? Yeah. So pesticides, fungicides, a lot of that you're just not needing anymore? No, no, the plants become so healthy and they become resistant to yeah. pests and diseases. The leaves get so thick that the diseases won't set and the healthier they are, they actually make a, like a pungent smell to a pest. So a pest is, stays away from it rather than tries to attack it. We bang on all the time about organic gardening methods such as worm farming, simply because they work brilliantly. But if you needed any further convincing of just how good they are, then Flower Farm proves it on a spectacular scale.